Hello, my homies. One smart cat doing some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And today is a big update that has just dropped. Just finished downloading it. We are going to go through it. And just so you know, my videos always have timestamps. So if you don't care about something or you don't want to see something, you just want to go to gameplay, go to the timestamps. They're in the description. Click on them. Go to wherever you want to go to. All right. So first things first these are the patch notes for the 26th of september which is today if you are seeing this the day that i put it out let's start from the top usually i'll just skim through the patch notes and like pick and choose what i think is important or what you know what is important but honestly this set of changes is pretty stacked and important all the way around so let's just go ahead and nitpick through them. I'm not going to read everything verbatim. So if you want to pause it and read on your own, go ahead. Hitchhiker had a trap exploit. They have fixed it. He used to be able to use his trap to pass through walls and doors. He's not able to do that anymore. His trap also had a bunch of bugs along with it. Whenever a victim would get trapped, they wouldn't be able to interact with other shit. Like they would run up to gaps and crawl spaces and stuff like that. And the prompt just would never come up. So apparently that has been fixed as well. Now, there is something going on with Johnny and Sissy. Now, as design, Johnny and Sissy did have a lunge that was better than other family members. That was supposed to be that way. But people started using a specific build with Johnny that basically Johnny's would just run around swinging like the entire map like you would just see a johnny come from one side all the way to the other side just swinging his <laughs> swinging his knife around and uh he was doing that because it was making him go faster than just walking so now because of all that nonsense uh sissy and johnny both of their lunges has been reduced to pretty much to the same point as every other family member now there was a brightness cheat going on and what that means exactly is whenever you turn up your brightness in the game even if you turn it all the way up it still only goes up to a certain point to where it stops and you're not supposed to be able to make it any brighter people were going into the, the files of the game in order to bypass that and make the game even brighter to which i say two things you know good on gun for fixing this and making it so that people can't do that and number two like what the fuck is wrong with you people <laughs> that are going into the files to make the games brighter and all that like it's the same shit with dbd like whenever i pull up her streamer or something then like their gameplay looks like it's all just lit up by halogen lights like it's like the brightest fucking game in the world it's like yeah i get it you want to win you want to be able to see like everything but your game looks like shit <laughs> what about the atmosphere of the game like what about the way the game's supposed to look nah i want my game to look like shit that way i can see somebody in the corner yeah whatever anyway one of the big hitchhiker routines was you know setting up traps in front of the ladder exits i used to do this as well it's a great place it's a great way to lock down an exit and it seems like they've nerfed that a bit they've made it so that at the very least the victim is able to climb out of the ladder and like actually have a space there where they can get out from and you can still have a trap around there in the vicinity but you can no longer put a trap directly where the victim needs to exit the ladder so they'll at least be able to come out see if there's a trap around and then hopefully go around it opposed to beforehand where if you went all the way up the top of the ladder you were going to hit the trap if the trap was there. Like, there's nothing you could have done about it besides going back down the ladder. So, that's a honestly a pretty decent hitchhiker nerf. And I have no issues with it whatsoever. Hitchhikers can still put traps around ladders. They just can't put it to where it's completely unavoidable now. Which is, I think that's a good change. The fuse box can now be reset. So whenever a victim goes to the fuse box, puts in the fuse, does a little mini game and throws the switch, a family member is able to go to the same fuse box and turn the switch off. Now, as of recording, I haven't played the game yet. 
so I'm just going through the patch notes. It says that there's a cooldown applied to the switch, simulators similar to generators and car batteries. What that says to me right now is that family members won't be able to immediately turn it off whenever it gets turned on and vice versa. So I don't know exactly how long that is because it says similar to generators or car batteries. Like whenever a victim turns off a car battery, you're not able to turn that back on for like 20, 30 seconds. I think it's even longer than that. Like it's a decent amount of time before you're able to turn it back on. So we are definitely going to have to mess with the fuse box to see exactly how long it takes to be able to turn it off. Now, this next change is massive. All of these, all, all of these changes have been pretty good. They've all been like very impactful to the game, but this change family stun immunity it is going to change the game like literally like since the game's come out for you know the last few weeks the last month however long it's been out we've pretty much been in the stun slash rush meta you know there's a stun meta there's a rush meta and i feel like this is going to change both the family now has a 10 second stun immunity period after the initial stun ends I love the way that they worded that too, because that means you have a full solid 10 seconds after the stun ends, which is a huge difference, you know, if it started whenever the stun started. So the fact that it's not until the stun ends that you have 10 seconds immunity, that's pretty damn huge. There is no stun immunity after a family member is stunned by a victim bursting out of a hiding place. I was playing last night before this patch has gone through. And there are some victims who are already trying to use that. Like in mid chase, they'll jump into something and they'll try to burst out to stun you with it. Uh, it didn't work out too well for the person that tried to do it to me, but it is something that people are attempting already. If you attempt to stun a family member who has immunity, you will not see the prompt for Leland's ability or backstab. So you just won't even get the option to do it. Let's go ahead and flip to the second page because this does continue on. All right. So this uh, continues on with the stuns from the last page. If you attempt to stun a family member who has immunity with a door slam, it will have no effect. So you will open and close and slam the door, but it's not going to stun them for as long as they're in that 10 seconds stun immunity. Close encounters all vary in, du in duration due to the individual family members having different stun recovery times. Therefore, the immunity period is different for each. This is a massive change and Leatherface definitely wins this patch and the whole stun immunity is 100% why. All right, a couple more things. Taekwondo door perk has been reduced uh, for how long it stuns. It is now five, six, eight seconds. This is a great change. And the reason that this is a great change, number one, you know, it further dilutes the stun meta. Number two, that level three used to be 16 seconds. That is absolutely fucking ridiculous. There is, there is no game in the fucking world where players should be able to get stunned for 16 seconds. Like that is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So the fact that they've cut it in half and it's down to eight seconds, I think eight seconds is still a long fucking time, but that's 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 a lot better and now with the stun immunity and all that stuff that's fine that's completely fine eight seconds is fine now still very it's still very long but eight seconds is fine now the agitator perk has also been reduced it is now 1.5 2 and 2.5 what this perk used to do is at level three anytime that you stab grandpa the family bond mechanic, the bars that are on grandpa, the grandpa levels. Level three used to take away four of those levels. Now it takes away two and a half. I've already seen some victims worrying that this is going to cause like a, a, a blood meta, like a grandpa feeding meta. I don't think that would be a bad meta, honestly, like for both the victims and the family. Because you could still stab grandpa. There's nothing that's stopping you from stabbing grandpa. It's just two and a half levels seems a lot more fair than four fucking levels. 
There are survivors that say, oh, well, it's too easy to feed grandpa and all that. Yeah, it might be too easy to feed grandpa the first, like, passing through, you know, whenever all of the blood buckets are full. But the blood buckets do take time to fill up. And if you go to one early before it fills up, then you get less blood from it. So I think this is a good change. The way that level three used to be, and it was able to take off four fucking bars <laughs> off of one stack. Like, imagine if everybody had that. Like, if every single one of your victims was running that. It takes a while to fill up four bars. It takes a while to fill up five bars for Grandpa. I'm not opposed to this being adjusted if it needs to be. If it needs to go up to, you know, three bars, then, you know, maybe it needs to go up to three bars. But for right now, we should at least see how this works out. Because, I mean, I'll tell you flat out, four bars was too much. That was too fucking much. All right. The stealth performance in mini games has been adjusted. It says we have adjusted the amount of noise generated in gathering mini games when at full stealth. Basically, what that means, even if your stealth is at 50, you can't just slam the mini games. You can. It's still possible for you to make noise even if you're at 50. That's just something to keep in mind and make sure that you're paying attention to your noise level, even if you have maximum stealth. Last but not least, Leland Ability Stun Duration. They have adjusted the stun duration upgrades for Leland's Lifesaver ability. This is his shoulder charge. Basically, on his power tree, the thing that's all the way on the left, they adjusted uh, how long he's able to stun somebody by shoulder charging them. Now, I've already seen a bunch of talk and stuff saying that Leland's was over nerfed and that they keep nerfing Leland and like all that stuff and everything. I personally think that almost all of, if not all of the changes that they've been doing in the patches for this patch and the patch before have all been for the betterment of the game. And I'm talking about both sides because there are, there are some stuff that they did that also nerfed family. I mean, there's stuff in this one that, that nerfs the family. You know, Hitchhiker got nerfed. Johnny got nerfed. Sissy got nerfed, which is really, really sad because now Sissy, Sissy and Johnny are both in a pretty bad spot right now. But I do think that overall, all of these changes have been for the better of the game. And if Leland needed all of these adjustments so that he fits better in the game, then so be it. Now, if you're Leland main and if you've just been running amok for the last three, four weeks, being allowed to do pretty much whatever you wanted to. Yeah, I can see how you might be a little bit upset that you've finally been tuned down to the point that you should probably be a little bit afraid of the family members, you know, it being a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game and the victims should probably be a little bit afraid of the family members. That being said, I want this game to be fun for everybody. I want it to be fun for the victims. I want it to be fun for the family. And I think they are moving in a very good direction in order to do that. All right. All of that being said, let's jump over to my Leatherface build. All right. We're going to go through my Leatherface build relatively quickly. This is a Leatherface build that I have been using for pretty much until pretty much since I was able to level all this stuff up. I've been using the same build. So my power tree goes like this. It does uh, reduces chances of overheating by 10%. Chainsaw can be used 20% more before stalling and instant one pull starts. You can do this however you want, but this is the one that I like. It keeps me from stalling out most of the time. Every once in a while I get a little crazy and I still do stall. But honestly, these two put together really really help me from not stalling ever first part of the build is rough cuts hitting a victim with a chainsaw causes one hp of extra damage per second for seven seconds the reason i have this on is for the times whenever i'm not super revved and i can't do one big hit and i just need to do like you know smaller hits this makes it so that even the small hits do stack up and can do some real damage so typically i want to be running around with my chainsaw over my head but if there's ever a situation where I'm not doing that, even swinging will still do decent damage. Two cycle charge lets me run all over the map with a chainsaw above my head as long as I'm able to do so. It keeps my stamina up pretty much for the most part where I can just run wherever I want and not have to worry about it. The only thing I have to worry about is the fact that the chainsaw is too fucking loud and I can't hear anything. Last but not least is Violent. 
Whenever my blood vial is full, I do 20% extra damage. If I'm able to catch somebody early down in the basement or anything like that and get my blood vial full immediately, then for the rest of the match, I am that much more dangerous. Uh, 20% more dangerous, actually. <laughs> Grandpa abilities, you can do whatever you want. Typically, if I'm in the family house, I'll do Wind Doom. And if not, then I'll do Brute Strength. This is the way my skill tree looks, just so that if you want to try out this build, this is how you get it. You go up, and then you go left, then you go left, and that gives you everything that I have. Nothing that I got is random, I don't think. So just going this way should give you what I have for the build. And that is it. Let's get into the games. All right, this is Slaughterhouse during the daytime, I think. <laughs> and Leland has been offered up as tribute. See if we can find anybody down here. So with the new update that's gone through, I am more likely to stay down here longer. Typically, I would leave as soon as Grandpa wakes up. But if it's a good idea to stay down here a little bit longer, I will. People like to leave through these two doors pretty quickly. So we'll keep an eye on these two doors. Come down, see if anybody's over here real quick. Somebody, oh, hi. Who is dark? I cannot see in there. Ah, scary. It is so dark right here. Get the hell off me. <laughs> Did I get her? Nice. So she is very hurt. Ah, oh, she finally got me. She's hurt. She might pass out soon. Because I do have the thing that does, uh... Let's get rid of this door. Ooh, did you not read the patch notes? Did you think you are going to be able to stun me again? Very nice uh, leg crunches. Good for you. Good for you. Let's go ahead and get rid of this door. I wonder if she still thinks she could infinite stun me. Because she definitely cannot. We're not going to spend too much more time on her. We're going to... Check this door, see if it's still locked. It is. Check this door over here. She is very hurt. Which is why she just came to get health. Uh, they got somebody over there. There's an ant on me. Get the fuck out of here. There's an ant on my arm. That motherfucker climbed all the way up on me. She wants to come out this door. <laughs> I mean, it took a little while, but and yeah, now you're. Oh wow! You got 
<laughs> she got sent, sent to the shadow realm. So she definitely... She either doesn't know about the update or she was just like trying to test the update and trying to see what she could get away with. Um, honestly, the reason she got away with so much is just because she was Anna and Anna is a fucking tank. <laughs> Anna's Anna's a fucking beast, which, uh, which I don't have a problem with. I think it's completely fine that there's a character that's able to take so much damage. I think it's honestly like a really cool aspect of for one character to have, you know, for Ana to have. I have no issue with that. But uh, yeah, that that bitch can take some hits. <laughs> Luckily, my family members seem to be taking care of everybody else. They've already gotten two people. And break some of this stuff for them. Oh, somebody bled out somewhere. Okay, he got her down there. That wasn't bad. That's a nice little fight between me and Anna, and then the rest of the family doing what they're supposed to do. That's interesting. I wonder if. I really wonder if that Anna was like testing the update like how i was testing the update or if she really didn't know and she was just trying to bully me with that door either way it wasn't bad i liked it all right next game gas station during the daytime i was given sunny as an offering grandpa's awake shit's going down start the chainsaw somebody's getting some spikes over there I don't know how to get over there because I'm a garbage <laughs> uh, leather face. I will be practicing leather face more now, though, with the the new patch. So I feel like a lot more people are going to be playing more leather face now that he can't be infinitely stunned. That is. All right, somebody already opened a door going upstairs. I'm going to I'm going to try to fucking destroy this. What the fuck? I'm going to destroy this. And I'm going to head upstairs. Somebody already opened a door to my back left. All right. Didn't find anybody. Is that the ladder? That's the ladder. I always find the ladder first whenever I'm trying to leave. Like, it never fucking fails. All right, this is the one that they opened up. This is the one that I heard them open. All right, here we are. Get rid of this. We need to find out where everything's at. Destroy this. Where's Grandpa at? Grandpa inside? That Leland is somewhere around here as well. I don't know where anything is yet, which is not good. Is he going to get that off? My bleed out helped with that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get around there in time. He came back inside. Where did he go?
he came back in. I know he did. Oh, the fuse is right there too. All right, so this is a good setup for us. Fuse, Grandpa, and Valve are all right here. Let me destroy all these doors. I wonder if he backed, it, backed out again whenever he went in that last time. There are things happening in other places. The gate over there got slammed. This is open. That was a big hit on her. Was she able to get this door open? Nah, she didn't get that door open. There are a lot of possible escapes right now. I need a... I've been... Bubba's been running his ass off. I need to get my shit back. Which way did she run? They usually run through here. She did. And from there, she went through the hole. Going back up. This is the ladder. Close that. Somebody's using the ladder. Good to know. Destroy a couple of these doors real fast. Come on, door. Leland's over there near the valve again. Oh, what the fuck? Leland's dead. When did Leland die? That's still locked. We know this one's open though. Go check over here. Okay, he's already over here. They're being sneaky. Check these bushes. Oh, they just saw somebody over there. 
right before I went into animation. There's no way that she didn't know that, right? Like, there's no way that she didn't know that. I, her controller, like, was, uh, they got her, her controller was like dead or something. Like, there's no way that she didn't expect me to come back and knock the crap out of her. All right, we got one escape. Not too bad, not too bad. They were focusing on like every single exit. Like they had all the different exits going, so they were doing a really good job. Um, we just we were able to get most of them. Not all of them though, but most of them. Sunny has drawn the short straw on this one. We are at Slaughterhouse during the daytime. Been some good matches so far. Start our chainsaw. I'm 100% going to play Leatherface more so I could learn down here better. I've been, I've been playing Victim more too. I played Victim like on my own the other day just to like literally just to play it. I didn't do too bad. Doesn't look like anybody spawned on this side. That door is still closed. They may have already opened this door that I'm running to. It's one of the doors that gets open pretty quickly. They did not. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. We're going to hang out here for a little while. See if we can find anybody and go ahead and close up some of the stuff. Somebody just ran that way. Oh, my chainsaw stalled. It never happens to me, I swear. You go back through there. Somebody already up there upstairs. This is the ladder way up, right? Yeah. No, she wasn't able to get it open, actually. Who's just sitting there? I think that's our our UAV drone calling them out. <laughs> Too bad I can't make use of the information because I'm a fucking slub. There's a shove. Ooh, you're gonna do the valve right in my face. You got a lot of blood from you, bud. Come on. I missed that. Thank you for your contribution, sir. Got a little bit greedy, didn't you? Little bit too greedy. 
All right, so we don't have to worry about that guy anymore. We are gonna have to keep an eye on Valve, but I really should come up here and break some stuff. Somebody about to hit me with a rock. What was that? I heard feet. I got scared. Uh, his feet. <laughs> Thought I was about to get stabbed in the head. All right. The. Oh, there's the. There's a valve again. We should be able to stop it again. What are you doing? You stop it. I'll protect you. I don't know why he didn't want to grab onto it. Is this just a ruse? Is this just a ruse? They're checking over there. Come on. I'm a dick face fucking loser. I mean, honestly, it was Anna, though. She's kind of scary. Like she she was she was going to eat that fucking hit. And she she would have been completely fine. Pretty sure I saw a door slam. Did I not? Is this still unlocked? Is this still locked? It's still locked. Oh, look, she's right here. I'll put my jerry curl in the tree. Did she see me? <laughs> you think she saw me? She didn't see me, right? There's no way she saw me. Did she see me? She might have saw me. <laughs> Hello? How does it look out there? Yeah, she probably saw me. She's in here. No. <laughs> Man, she went all the way through. Did she drop down though? <laughs> I mean, she might have got in there. I don't know. Is she the only one still alive? No, it's still her and Connie. <laughs> she 
she definitely went out the side. She went out that way. <laughs> she saw my Jerry curl. Either that or she, she might have heard a hitchhiker coming, maybe, and then she jumped in the thing. And one of them's downstairs. That kind of looked like Julie. It might be Julie that went downstairs. If not, she's doing a great job of hiding over here. So the front one is the one that she got in from. Here you go, Grandpa. They're doing a good job being sneaky. They know that the valve's here. Neither one of them seems to be going for the valve. Connie just got out. I refuse for her to get out this way. <laughs> Leatherface slowly latching the door. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> oh, she's out. Oh. Ah, she's going down the well. He's able to go down the ladder. Everybody's on the march. Close the door. The hitchhiker barely got her by like the bottom of her foot to keep her down there. That would have been horrifying, like in any sort of real life situation. <laughs> Fucking Leatherface coming in and slamming the door behind him. It wasn't, eh, it wasn't too bad. The, uh, the greedy Leland at the beginning was probably the best part, but I, my shitty miss at the, at the valve. Yeah. Cause I'm a piece of crap. Like I said though, it was an honor. She would have just ate that shit. All right. That's going to be it for this one. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Let me know what y'all think of the patch. I've pretty much said my piece for the most part. 
I do think that everything that they've done has been towards the good thing. If anything has been overdone, like if Leland has been, you know, too nerfed or anything, then, you know, stuff can get rolled back. I honestly don't think he has. I think Leland is completely fine. I think getting rid of the infinite stuns and all that is a good thing. Um, Sissy and Johnny, I think, may need a little bit of help. Sissy more than Johnny, because Johnny is still pretty strong. Like, Johnny can hit very hard. Sissy for sure is not in a great place. Either way, they have been doing these updates pretty quickly, which is a very, very good thing. And the game is only getting better and better. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I see you in another one of my videos and uh, wee.